showcasing you the unboxing of Oto Starter Builder Kit and how to build. Inside the kit contains rechargeable battery case and the body shell, 3D printed parts of the robot shell, ultrasonic sensor, board and shield, four servos, cables, charging connector cables, battery, buzzer, and screwdriver. Start by aligning your first two servo motors by finding the exact 90 degree angle of the 180 degree rotation the servos can move at. Now fit two of the servos into the body grooves. Kit comes with two big and one small screws in each servo bag. Start by using four big screws to screw the servos in place from the grooves. Now place two clips from inside the servo bag and place them into the legs. You will need scissors to cut according to the image you see on the screen. The legs will now clip to the servo gears sticking out of the bottom of the shell body. Next. Using two small screws, screw the legs into the servos to make it secure. From the servo bag, take two single clips and place them in the feet. Make sure the clips face the right way so the servo grooves clips onto it. Next, use the big screw to hold the clip in place from the bottom hole. Repeat to align the servos at its 90 degree midpoint. Clip servo into the clip groove, then use the small screw to secure the servo to the clip. Slide servo foot into the leg. Don't forget to slide the cord through the leg so it's inside of the body. One of the more trickier parts to screw, place the screwdriver within the whole groove and connect the magnified big screw to guide it in the groove to fortify the foot servos. Add the sensor first within the grooves of the head. Next, you can find a separate bag with big screws that is not with the servo bags. Prepare the screws in the grooves, then place the shield and board inside the head and screw them in. Two screws are efficient for this step.
plug each servo into the board. Connect DuPont cables to the sensor, and then connect to the board. Make sure they go in the right pins. Next, connect the buzzer to the DuPont cables and place the buzzer into the groove inside the body. Connect the two buzzer cables to the board. Connect the rechargeable battery case to the board and don't forget to add the battery. Don't forget to switch on the battery case inside the head. And that's it. You're done. Just clip the head to the body with everything inside.